Hi friends and welcome back. I am so very happy that you are here with me. Today's video is going to be a quick video. It is pretty simple overall and I think it's really fun and important to have a variety of more complex pages along with the um, more simple pages. That way it gives your eye a place to rest and not every page um, is bursting at the seams with interest. There really is no right or wrong uh, when it comes to art journaling. I think that's the real big draw to art journaling in general is just that anything goes. So this was a bit of watercolor paper here and so I thought it'd be the perfect uh, way to add in some watercolor in the art journal. So oftentimes, you know, paper doesn't uh, hold that water as well and I don't want it to seep through to all of the pages and so I'm more cautious of the amount of water that I use um, when I'm working directly in a journal. So this is the perfect excuse. I do not know any specifics about using watercolor except that I like to kind of experiment. Um, so I have not done any training. I'm probably doing things quote unquote wrong, um, but I'm okay. I like the results that I get and I love creating these abstract watercolor backgrounds um, just with several different shades of a color um, and kind of blending those in and playing and pushing that water and pushing that paint around. So don't let your knowledge or lack of knowledge keep you from using a supply. Mess around and see how it goes. Uh, you never know what kind of results you'll get. So I am I hit that with um, just the heat gun uh, before I continued on and now I am diving right in. I'm often a little bit too scared to draw uh, botanicals directly on the page, but I thought let's just go for it on this one. Um, I'm using a Stabilo All Pencil, which in the end I think is actually pretty per forgiving because I'll add water back into it and um, it kind of blurs out the lines and the edges. And I actually really like how this one turned out. So I think that's a good lesson to kind of get over that fear that we may have and just jump in and see how it goes. So I'm taking a thin little brush here. I don't want to smudge out those lines too much. I still want um, to be able to tell what the drawing is. And so I'm using a thin brush with just a little bit of water. So my paintbrush is just damp and moving that pigment around just so that it kind of smudges out those lines a bit. You could also dip the um, pencil directly in the water to begin with and do it that way. I wanted to bring just a little bit of those darker marks over to the left side and so I carry the pigment in my brush and did a few little art marks and now I am just using that wet paintbrush and using the tip of the Stabilo pencil and doing a few little splatter marks. Um, I always feel like when you're doing splatter marks, they go everywhere except the spot that you're asking for them to go. But I think that's the joy in it. Uh, just letting it be random and um, falling where they may. I hope that you enjoyed today's simple spread in my play along art journal. Make sure that you are subscribed, so that you are notified of new videos that I put out and like this video and tell a friend. Hope that you have a great day and I cannot wait to see you next time. Have a good one.